Hello, Dapper. How are uh, you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. You'll notice we have both Betsy's out on the track. We got an exciting episode planned. I need to fill the sawmill. Uh, yeah. My sawmill's getting empty. It needs more lumber to fill it up. And I figured rather than just, you know, running a single boring sawmill train, we're going to run two, but we're going to do this a little special. Neither of us is going to drive the trains. We're just going to sit at the logging camp and we're going to sit at the sawmill and we're going to send trains back and forth. So I'll sit at the sawmill unloading them and you can sit at the, saw at the uh, logging camp filling them and we'll just, you know, send them down the track towards each other full yeah, steam ahead. We're going to like mail each other some some trains. Yeah, exactly. This is like train mail. This is it's perfect. <laughs> it's it's, it's uh, we're, we'll call it T mail, not T -mail. E mail. It's T mail. It's but T -mail. yeah, we're basically just gonna send trains down the track fully loaded until the sawmills loaded back and forth, and um, you know we'll see what happens. Hopefully they don't derail. We'll just should be able to just set the reg and let it go, and you know that'll be that'll be that. So uh, Betsy two is filling with water currently. Let's just yes. um get Betsy one hooked up. Do you want to grab that? We'll bring it forward. Sure. Get it into this logging siding now we have i have 10 logging cars total so we're gonna do five on each which should be 30 logs on each which should fill the logging camp in no or the sawmill in no time oh you're you're good you're yeah, good yeah 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 yep yep yep, yep. Just, yeah you, you just gotta <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah go. just gotta overshoot it a bit yeah over, no over yeah no come back into this it's switch. all but yeah, part it should of fill the logging camp um I think there's like 60 planks or something i want to fill it completely like let it craft and then you know actually fill the logging uh lake as well so it's completely full oh okay you know what i mean right right it's like gonna be a hundred plus logs at least it's gonna be a lot of logs yeah but it'll be easy we won't have to move we'll just send the trains back and forth right so right. there we go you're hitched let me get five cars uh so one two three four and five unhitched there okay go you're good Cool. Pull those ahead. Pulling them ahead. Excellent. Nice. So sick. And then just get out, like, uh, you know, onto the main line. Out of the clear the switch, right? And then we'll pull Betsy 2 over and everything will be grand. Perfect. Dude, I think this is going to be good. I think this is going to be super fast, you know? We'll just we'll be able to let the trains go. I feel like it's going to be efficient. It's going to be it's gonna be nice. Yeah. Just kind of hang out waiting for the trains to arrive, you know? Yeah, as long as they don't derail, we'll be fine. That's really the issue. Now, of course, I only have a single track, right, between the two locations. So we just got to make sure we don't send two trains down the track in opposite directions True. at the same time. <laughs> and we'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, we should be fine. That should be easily avoided, though. I yeah. feel like in the time it takes to load, the other train will be driving. And then once that train's loaded, it'll be driving while the other one's getting loaded. So, you know, it'll be... That'll in, be the determining factor. In theory. <laughs> in theory fine we've really we've really thought this through well right science yeah science um oh the switch yeah yeah speed agility oh. dexterity yes all of those things Full speed ahead combined this is going way too fast well you got the hitch on there right nope just did nice <laughs> doing it live man doing it live always yep. hitch it live of course of course Remember when we first started playing this game, how bad we were at just figuring out how the hitching works? And oh. now we're, like, experts? Uh, speak for yourself there, sir. <laughs> okay, well, maybe I just feel like it's a lot easier getting the, you know, up-down motions or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, I think this is it. So, this should be five cars. Yep, brakes all One, off. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm going to turn them off right now. All right, perfect. So we got to take both of them to the logging camp right away. Um, do you want to grab this one? I'll take the other, the leader just so I can flick the switches that we need to do. Sure. That way we'll guaranteed make it there. Yeah, odds are I'll derail on the way, so it sounds good to well, me. I, I figured you might just forget a switch. We'll end up in the iron mine or something. Yep. <laughs> Probably. Wait, so we're just going to bring them both there to start, and you're going to go back yeah, with one? Yeah, because then we, we'll load one up, Yeah. and, and then while I'll... that one's loading... I'll stay to load the next one. Load the next one, yeah, while the, that one goes to the thing. But but I'll, what we'll do is, while you load the first one, I'll walk the track and reset all the switches to where they need to be, you know, so that the line is, is good to go. Okay. There's cool. going to be one switch, because there's a loop at the sawmill and a loop at the um, logging camp. So there's going to be one switch you're going to have to flick back and forth as trains come in, right? Right, and you're going to do the same out here. And I'm going to do the same at the sawmill. 
But other than oh, that, right. that's it. We each just man one switch, and I'll set all the rest of the line, the switches in the line to be good. Okay. Cool. Should all work out. I feel like you're gaining on me. A little bit. Are these the same speed? Uh, well, you probably have more traction because of your weight, but I have more power technically because of my... I mean, I think those top speed is the same. Yeah, yeah I think the same, the like, same. mechanism, right? Right. Looks about yeah, the same. Yeah, I think we're keeping pace now. Well, awesome. And for people wondering, we're using Betsy's because they're small and they're easy to sort of jump in and jump out of, you know, and they're they're not they're powerful enough to do this i and, think and because why not <laughs> yeah exactly why not we need a use for them and we're only ever towing empties up the hill that's when true. they're going down the hill they'll be full but like you know that's fine i think yeah there's nothing wrong with that hope so i think we'll probably you should probably try setting it like 50 percent reg to start and we'll see if that makes it without dying okay and then and then if it if it doesn't make it i'll be able to tell you have sharp corners no, not between no. these runs. That's what I'm saying. It's just the downhill. It's whether or not they pick up too much speed on the downhill from long camp. I gotta slow down here just because I gotta flick the switch up ahead. Right. So just. Whoo! I oh. came close to hitting you. That should be good. Gotta flick two switches actually. Uh oh. Yeah, there's no real sharp corners. Like this is probably one of the more gradual runs I have. It's just the uh, it's whether or not the downhill coming from the long camp because it is like a three percent down. You'll see it when we go up it. It's if that's too steep, we're screwed, right? Right. And that's sort of kind of the concern because, you know, you I don't want beat that. that train? Be, if it's going to derail, that's going to be the spot. But you'll be able to see it from the long. You're camp not going to beat that train, I don't think. Are you? This switch? Yeah, it's coasting. Just don't right. push it. As I push it, you might have pushed it. <laughs> Sit it. I think I think it's okay. Yeah, I'll beat it. Oh Easy. my you, gosh, that looks so about? close on my screen. So close. Nah, I'm good. Good. I'm a I'm an expert. Yeah, pro over here. Nah, we don't derail. That's <laughs> yeah. for Dapper Railways, not Con Railways. Yeah. Um, I think we're at one day since I've derailed last, so. Oh, true. I should get one of those like poster boards, like zero days since the last train accident. That's that's exactly what I needed, but I would not have a high number right now. That's for yeah. sure. Actually, I think it's. I've been pretty good the last couple episodes. I think in terms of derailments. I don't know. Yeah, my last episode of Railroads, I derailed, 100. percent I don't know why either. That there was a one. There was one point where I derailed for like no reason. Okay, this is the sharpest turn right here at the oh. bottom of this hill, of course. Okay. I see, see that. That wouldn't that wouldn't turn. That's the sharpest. But it goes up at the same time, so doesn't that slow it down? No, no, we're gonna be coming down full. Oh, true. Okay, so I'm setting this. I set this at fifty percent. I don't know if it's gonna make it at fifty percent, even towing empties, because the the tractive effort is lower now, right? Like it can't pull as much. I'm just trying to gauge how high I have to set it to come back. You know what I mean? 69%. Okay, I think I think 69% is the number. If I set it at 69, 70%, somewhere around there, it'll make it back. This one definitely can do it at 69. Yeah, you probably have more attractive effort. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll set them to 70 when they come back, and then when you send them to me, you'll probably have to set them to the same, like 70%. You think sending them down the way? Yeah, because there's still a little bit of uphills after the end, you know, and you're towing five cars fully loaded, right? Right. Or we just say screw it and set them to 100. I guess yeah, we can... let's just say screw it and set it to 100. I mean, worst case, what, we derail? Yeah, why don't, why don't we save after we fill it? True. For and the then, first one? And just, just send it. it, yeah. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to just uh, hop out here in a sec. All right. Once I pull it up to the station, they're basically going to be coming in this way, but you can let them drive this like on their own. Right. Or I guess they can come in the other way too, if that's what you want them to. But it's probably easier to have them come in this way because you can stop them back here on the flat ground. All right, I'm going to stop soon just to let you know, so you don't, you know. Oh, I'm good. I got space. Run into the back. All right, braking. Alright. I think I'm gonna overshoot this. 
Oh, I totally did. Holy cow. It takes a long time to break. Yeah. Well, you can fix that. No big deal. Yeah. All right. So you start loading this switch uh, right here. You know, this one at the wooden bridge here. This is the one you're going to have to flick back and forth. Okay. Right. So, so every time you release a train, you're going to have to flick it, let the train go, and then flick it back so that it, you know, lets the trains come back in. Right. Right. But I mean, that should be easy enough. Yeah. I think I'm all set. Uh, actually, are we both going to load this, or are you going to do all the switches now? No, I'm going to set all the switches on the way to the sawmill, make sure that's all set. Okay. And then, depending on how far you're loaded by the time I get there, I'll either come back and ride the first train back and see if it derails, or just, you know, take your word for it that it doesn't. <laughs> Sounds good. I mean, once you release it, we'll be able to tell if it derails or not if it shows up at all. Yeah. Yeah. This is, seems incredibly risky. Sounds like a good time, though. <laughs> I feel like this is going to work. I feel like this is this is a key for success. Yeah, there is an uphill here, so just send them to 100%. Honestly, it goes down and then up, like, just... Fine. You know that, uh, the death iron iron pass I have? Maybe? Like, the, the route I have to the iron mine that's, like, 6%. It's, like, really the first one I did that was really tough. I don't uh, know if you, you were there for that. Let's just say yes and continue. Okay. But uh, I took Betsy down it at full speed. It felt like a roller coaster. It was terrible. Really? <laughs> it was like literally the most terrifying thing in my life. It sounds amazing. <laughs> and it derailed, but it derailed on a flat bridge Wait. from speed wobbles. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, it made it through like all the downhill stuff. But then when it got to a flat bridge, it derailed. That's crazy. Fast, I thought so, they toned down know. the speed wobbles. That was, I, I don't that know. An it, update? it was... I think I was, like, just, you know, hitting that speed where it's, like, it doesn't matter how much they tone down the speed wobbles. Right. Going too fast. All right, I'm at the sawmill. Okay. I'm how, uh, how much have you loaded? Two cars. That's pretty good. Yeah. You only have five to load? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's any point in me coming back. There's a water tower here, too, so whenever I release a car, I'll check and make sure that it's, um got water okay although they just both just get filled so we should be fine right all right and then i got my loop set up now so the trains will come in i'll slow them down and then i'll send them back out and we have zero logs in the pond so we need a hundred to fill the pond excellent and then the log products i believe are still one to one to one i'm just going to check that real quick because they did all change recently but i think they're still one to one to one. Do they still only fill if you take from another pile? Yes. Yeah, they're one to one to one still. Okay. So one beam plus one lumber from one log. So we have uh, 46 lumber and we've got 63 beams. So I'm actually going to sit here and just crane beams onto the track to get them down to 46 as well. All right. So it's going to take us 154 logs to fill this whole thing. Because I want to fill up the two supply things, the beams and the lumber, and then fill up the the pond itself. Although it's kind of stupid because the beams and the lumber get consumed at different rates from different industries. So it's not really like keeping them even. They're only going to be perfectly full like once. And then as soon as I go to do a trip, it's going to be different numbers. You know what I mean? Like it's not. Right. It's only going to line up for a little bit. You're going to consume more lumber than beams. Right. At least delivering to iron anyway. Wow, this breaking. Oh, yeah, it's hard when it's loaded, right? Like, it's... Yeah. Now imagine we did this same thing, but for every industry. So you just have one person who works each industry, and that's it. That's their whole job. Just send cars back and forth? Oh, and people load Send in. trains. Like, ah, oh, we got train number four coming in on the main line. We need you to fill it up with uh, half lumber, half beams, and send it down line 36. And it's like, oh, okay. That'd be amazing, actually. <laughs> And someone else at the iron mine, like, yeah, I need a delivery, please. Like, just, just <laughs> running each industry. That'd Trains are just all insane. driving back and forth. No one's driving them. <laughs> all right, I've got three more beams to unload, and then this whole thing is even. Perfect. Uh, I got two I rail cars. Just disappear on the track, like there'd be a pile of it. Yeah, I know, right? It'd be cool if you could stock. No, yeah, I don't know if that would make sense. I mean, you could buy a bunch of train cars, load yeah. them up, and just leave them somewhere. True. Boom, stockpile. 
All right, 46 and 46. Perfect. So we just need 154 uh, lumber. And let me just do some quick math here. Totally in my head, not with a calculator. Uh, that's 25.6 cars. So we need 26 cars, basically. And one car will only have a couple logs on it. All right. Well, I got one more log to go. And then you can save. Okay, sick. So oh, yeah, like... just to make sure the first train makes it. That would yes. be a good idea. So... Actually, that sucks that we need 26 cars because we're doing trains of five. So we needed to do a bunch of fives and then one train with one car that has, like, four logs on it. <laughs> All right. Um, good to go. All right. I'm going to save. Yep. All right, I've saved the game. Um, remember to flick your switch at the bottom of the bridge to release it and then flick it back. Then full reg, or you know what? Do like 80% reg, even. I think you'll be fine, right? Like 80? Or you can do full. Screw it. Just do full. Who cares? Rather it get here than get stuck. All right. 100%. It is on the way. I'm going to flip the switch now. Which one is it? The original Betsy? Yeah. Okay. All right. I can actually see. I have like a perfect line of sight straight down this bridge coming into the sawmill to see like when it when it gets off the main line onto the switch. You can look down though I guess and check if it derails on the main hill. Right. Well it is now passing the switch. Okay. I'm really excited. Give All me right. the uh, closed caption version, the descriptive video. <laughs> yep, and here it comes. Uh yeah. I'm just gonna make sure it makes it through the first corner. And it disappeared, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the multiplayer view distance. Yep, hopefully you see oh, it soon. No. <laughs> oh, I hope I see it soon. Yep. I'll wait. You know, I'm going to wait a couple minutes. Uh, if it doesn't show up, then I'm going to walk backwards down the track. You just keep, you know what? I'm going to wait until your next train is loaded. And if it's if it's not here by the time your next train is loaded, then I think we've got some problems. True. Well, I am in the next train now, and uh, we're pulling up. Perfect. Start loading. Perfect. I'm just sitting here waiting. Nice. Oh, I see it! I see it! You it's see it? Coming. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. There it is, right around the corner. Uh, I just, you know what? The cylinder cocks are on. It's like literally, like <laughs> got steam coming, shooting out the sides of it. Yup. Perfect. Uh, that's so funny. <laughs> Dude, that's great. That's actually fantastic. Here it comes. Nice. I made it So quick. I can send it back right away. Yeah, you could, because I'm going to be loading here for a while. Yeah, so I'm going to unload it and send it back right away at full reg. Oh my god, dude, this is amazing. I can't believe it worked. <laughs> that's I awesome. see it coming around the distance. It's so good. All right. Slowing her down. Now the Holy only... cow, it takes forever to slow down. What the heck? Really? Dude, it's like I got full brake and it's still just flying. I'm going to overshoot. So the only thing I see that could make this better is a full loop with no switches. True, like a perfect loop. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, with no with no switches, so we don't have to switch back and forth. I agree 100%. I don't have a full loop though. Yeah. So. But this is this is not bad. Only one switch each is pretty good. Yeah, I overshot this like mad, like the unload area. Really? <laughs> but yeah, I just gotta back up and then it'll be fine. I hit the brakes as soon as it got to the top of the hill entering the sawmill, and then it overshot where like only the last couple cars were in the unload zone. Okay. I didn't want to risk unloading it while it was moving because it was like it was going fast. Just gotta there we go, get that one. Get that one. Dude, these are, this is heavy. It's so insanely heavy. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I like it. All right, I'm going to send it back at 72% uh, reg. All right. There we go. Unload those ones while it's accelerating. Perfect. It might make it back here just in time. Yeah, just make your switch is set to receive it, right? Like yes. you flipped it back right away? Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, you kind of just like, I set the reg and now it's looping around the sawmill and then I'm gonna just wait till it passes and then flick, flick, you know? Right. This is awesome. This is gonna work, man. I, it already feels faster, you know? It feels so fast. We're making progress. Yeah, this is Made good. Made some money, up to $2,100. That's so funny. I can't believe it. Uh, it actually works. I know, right? It's amazing. All right, here it goes. Leaving the sawmill. Clear the line. And see you later, Betsy. All right, so what was the timing on that? Like 30 seconds when it showed up? Maybe, maybe a minute to get here. Like probably less. Yeah, 30, 45 seconds maybe. All right, I'm working on the last two cars now. If I could finish before it gets here, it'd be amazing. Yeah, and then you just got to make sure you... You got to catch this train before you let the other one go. That's the thing. Right. Because, like, it's got to clear the switch before you let the other one go, number one. And if you try and, like, like release them at the same time, it'll be going so fast through the, the logging camp, you'll, you know, it'll smash into the back of your other one probably, right? Right. All right, Betsy's gone. Should be getting there soon. I put it at 73% reg, something like that. Should be more than enough. I just need three more crane pulls. Dude, this is so funny. I can't believe this. This is like the coolest thing we've ever done. Uh, <laughs> even though we're not even driving the trains. I'm just hoping it pops in that while I'm doing this. <laughs> so I just can see it. I mean, I'm it worried. should. Yeah, true. I think so, if it makes it. Got one more crane pull here, and I can run over. All right, I'm ready to receive. To be fair, I was a little slow on the unload. If I had braked the car sooner, like I'm going to grab it sooner and start braking sooner. If I had done that, I would have been faster on the unload without having to reverse and all that. Oh, here it is. <laughs> is it there? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. Ah, oh, it's so good. Oh man, what's a better way to do this though? Um, I think I'm gonna kill the regulator here. Yeah, let it coast around. Give it a little break. Now run over here and send this one on its way and hopefully I can get back to it in time. This is amazing. You said 100%, right, from my end? Yeah, 100% coming this way. I'll send them back with a little less because they're empty. But if you set the original at 100%, I mean, it made it no problem, so. Right. All right, switch is flicked. I'm assuming the heavier one would also make it no problem. That's leaving. I still don't see the original Betsy. That's good. Dude, this is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, the next right. one is on the way. Perfect. I'll just sit here and wait. And it has cleared the switch. Flipped it back over. Uh, where is the Betsy? Oh, it's rolling in now. That was so perfect. <laughs> I might even get you back. You just turned off the rag and let it coast? Yeah. It's literally perfect timing. I can get in here and throw the brake on. That's so funny. That was amazing. Actually right, I don't perfect. see Betsy 2 yet. Sure, I'll see it soon. Hopefully, I didn't overshoot that. I might have. All right, loading up. There it is, Betsy Two. Really? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, why do you keep turning the cylinder cocks on, bro? <laughs> I just see this, like, I see the steam first before I even see the, uh, the train itself. <laughs> that's so funny. Dude, that's amazing. That... I can't believe how amazing that is. Yeah, <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, so how many times do we need to do this now? Five total, plus, well, no, six, I guess. But the sixth one will be two, only, like, four logs on it or something. Okay. Yeah.
Yeah, I caught this one a little earlier, put the brakes on way earlier. Perfect. Now I can slow it way down. Nice. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a flawless unload. Then I get off and just click enter as they go by. Perfect. Oh. Perfect. Literally a flawless unload. Nice. Did it as it was passing by, and then I'll run up to the cab, flick the regulator back up. I feel like you can't quad load here anymore. Oh yeah, they might have changed it. I don't honestly know. Alright, now I just gotta run back, flick the switch. Yeah, there's yeah no well they way. did have some notes about changing some of the unload areas and like putting arrows to make the indicator better and stuff. So they might have actually made it so you can't do the like log right in the middle of two things. Well, you can still anymore. do that. I just feel like they're closer together. I feel like you can only do three at a time now. Oh, I see. Gotcha. I mean, it doesn't matter. You got five cars anyway. Holy cow, Betsy 2 is flying, dude. <laughs> is it? It looks so funny when you got the cylinder cocks full open, too. It's just like putting steam everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna just close those. I think they do bleed a little bit of pressure, but not much. All right, it's on its way back. Track's clear, right? You're uh, good to track's receive. Track's clear. I am good to receive. All right, it's going. Yeah, you did that one a bit faster. I might need to stop that. That one. was a faster unload for me, so it worked out. I'll keep an eye out. I still don't even have three fully loaded yet. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that one, Betsy 2, never stopped. Like, didn't bog I, I down I cut or the anything? reg. No, I cut the reg, turned the brake on it a little bit to slow it down, unloaded all the cars while it was rolling like just coasting through turned the rag back on jumped off got the switch and then let it go like i never it never got to a complete stop wow just kept going still don't see the other bitsy gonna start loading it'll probably be coming soon i mean the loading zone is right next to the other track so the bare minimum you'll see it when it gets into the thing on the other side right you think four more oh it's here uh <laughs> Two more crane pulls. There we go. Run over here. Catch it. All right. I'll be a little... I'll go a little slower on the unload. I'll bring it to a complete stop. Unload it and then start it back up again. Right, there we go. I might need to stop that again. We'll see. All right. That one's coasting. Hopefully I have enough time to do three more crane pulls and send it on our way. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. This is such a this is such a stupid but cool idea all at the same time. Right? I feel like we talked about doing this in like one of our first or second episodes. Probably. Like just having one person man each industry. Yeah, I feel like that would have been a conversation point. I don't know it if it kind of works this. out. I never got the switch. No, I can't do this. All right. I was going to send it on its way. I think I need to stop this one first. Yeah. It's okay. I'll do a full stop next time. Take my time unloading. Obviously, it's a lot quicker to unload than load. Right. Please don't derail. Okay, that's fine. All right. Sending her on her way. Um, she needs fire when she, when she gets there. Okay. All right. I will manage it. I'll, I'll put the fuel in and stuff, yeah. I can do all that. 100%. Here she comes. This is number three. Three. Nice. The pond has residual logs in it now. Nice. That are not, that are not getting finished. Um, we have a total of six logs in the pond. Perfect. So yeah, we need three more full trains and then one train that has only four logs on it. All right. Well, you should be receiving that one here soon. Yeah, so that'll be one out of three and then another two more and then four logs on the last one. But you can come on the last one as well. Oh, that's true. 
just ride your way over here. And then this will be completely full for like the first time ever. 100, 100, 100. It'll be awesome. Wow. I hear that unlocks Super Beast creative mode or something, and then you'll get like an extra diesel engine, you know, that just, just does all the work for you. It's this, it's a crazy Easter egg thing that they hid that no one was supposed to know about. Oh, that sounds amazing, actually. Yeah. Or maybe you have to unlock, actually, maybe you have to max out every industry. I'm not sure. I think mm. it was, there was some thing about it, you know? Right, right. I was like, well, I, I heard train. that. That's good. Dude, this is amazing. This yep. is so good. I just see it slowly, like, rolling around the corner and then coming up the hill and just, you know, it's just casually just... Just casually driving? Thing. Why is that one no dropping one... logs? Oh, it's not. Okay. No one's actually driving the train. <laughs> Okay, it's just chilling. It just shows up. Hey Betsy, how you doing? <laughs> Busy day, eh? Yeah. Yeah, hard at work, huh? Not hard at work. Alright, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna bring Betsy to a complete stop this time. Oh, I can't climb I need a I need to re engineer this. I can't even jump up onto it from the one side. Really? Yeah, just because of how, like, my platform's built up above the log pond, you know? I, when you, you can't jump the height to get onto the car when it's up on the... doesn't matter. It's not really a big deal. Right. Just gotta walk around instead of jumping through the cars, that's all. Alright, that's unloaded. Perfect, so 70% reg. Oh, wow, that was awesome. No brake. Toot, toot. Do you hear that at all? No. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Alright, I'm releasing this one back onto the track. Perfect. I mean, it's not leaving the sawmill yet. It's just looping around the sawmill, but should be going soon. Do some switching. Your switch to receive? Yes. Excellent. This feels faster, right? Like... Than doing it normally? Doesn't it? Doesn't it feel well, like yeah. we're loading this, like getting the industry full way faster than if we were doing it the the normal way? I mean, I guess the argument is it's 10 cars moving no matter what. But oh. I guess the thing is, though, you're never like not loading and I'm never not like unloading. So it's just constantly using the industry. True. Whereas with 10 cars, you have to spend the whole time loading all 10 and then drive. And then while you're driving, you could be loading more cars, but there's more no cars there to load, right? Released it onto the track just now. It's gone? On the way? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So I guess this would be faster, because you're never not using the cranes. Right. Which is the slowest part. I think it could be faster, though. If we had more people to constantly man the cranes and pull the trains in. Yeah, if you had a second person helping you... Yes. Yeah, you only really need one where I am, but if you had two people loading, I feel like you're right. That would be wait, And maybe even put three trains on the track, although two seems to be the right number. Maybe six cars instead of five. Right, I'm waiting to receive the train. Are you fully loaded? Mm, no, I've got two more crane pulls. Okay. While I'm waiting. All right, update. We're at 100 out of 100 lumber. And a hundred out of a hundred beams. Excellent. Those numbers are perfect. That's so, so sick. So this is perfect timing. I was able to fully load this train. Now I can go in the receiving lane. Yeah, I just have to stop, basically. If I bring it to a full stop, then it's... And we're at 36 out of a hundred logs. Alright, I see... Betsy! Amazing. Zero the rig. Give it a little bit of break. Let her go. How's this one doing? Oh, this one's gonna need uh, firewood if you could. Yep. No, sh no problemo, sir. Excellent. Sending it on its way. I can't believe the track is smooth enough that they don't derail. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> At like full. It's just, it, 
Just go. Yeah, at full. Yeah, down that hill and everything. It's like, it's crazy. All right. Passing the switch now. Sick. So that'll be, um... The next train you gotta fill full as well. And then when I send this one back, it'll be the last train with only four on it. And then you can just come with it. Perfect. Be perfect. Come see the fruits of our labor. Dude, this is quick. This is so much faster <laughs> than doing single train loads. Oh, Betsy didn't make it this time. I think I put too much brake on. Oh, nope. There she is. Just coming a little slower. You know what this really makes me want to do, though? What? It really makes me want to make a gravity line. Like, a line where you're at the logging camp up on the hill, and it's like 0.25% down the whole way to the sawmill. Mm -hmm. And you just fill up cars and send them down the line without an engine. Yeah, no engines. Interesting. Yeah, and then you catch them here, hook them up to an engine, and send them back up. That would be really cool. Yeah, that would be pretty awesome. But I mean, obviously this line can't do it. There's ups and downs between where you are and where I am. So right. it needs power. Hey, Betsy too. How you doing? I see you coming in. <laughs> nice. So great. Thank you. Jump in. No reg. Hit the brake. Perfect. I feel like I'm working an actual crane job right now. I know, right? Like, I feel like I'm like, I don't know what it is. Like, some sort of like, sh like, like, conduct, not a conductor, but like a yard engineer or something. You know, you're just managing trains as they come in and out. You're not really like driving them. It's weird. Right. It's you're like a whole different way to play this game. Shipping and receiving. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool, though. Yeah. I overshot once again with Betsy, too. Good, good. Gives me a little time. Yep, perfect. Fill the firewood up. Done. Go full reverse a little bit. Uh, money update, I guess. We are up to 3,000 bucks. I think I started with like 1,400 or something. So. Okay. Not 1,600 bad. bucks, I think, has been made so far. Something like that. 66 logs out of 100. Nice. Uh, gonna send Betsy 2 back now. 70%, 73% reg, sure, that'll do. Perfect, I'm a little behind on this one. I missed the triple That's okay. Load. That's the last full one, by the way. Excellent. So you'll be pretty much chasing that one when you come out with Betsy 2, because it'll have, like, just four logs, and then you can drive it, you know? Right. All right, next time we got to do this with the iron mine, right? And just... Oh, yeah, definitely. But I need to rebuild all the track from the sawmill to the iron mine, so you can just send it and receive it on one line. True. Although that would take a long time for the trains to get there. Yeah, we never no, we never have a train in between. Three trains. Like three trains. That yeah. That'd be crazy. Need more cars to do that. But yeah, three trains. You're right. Which means we need three engines that can do that run. Betsy two just leaving the switch, by the way. Perfect. So I got a little bit of time here. Nice. Yeah, I guess you could do it with three trains. Have one in transport, one at the end, and one at the beginning, and then they'd all... Everything would be perfect. That would be nuts, though. Yeah, no kidding. This well... idea is really cool. Mm-hmm. Even though we're doing the boring parts of the game, it's still, like, the coolest idea. Yeah, it's a really cool concept. Yeah. Can you imagine... Yeah. And it just proves, like, the function of it, right? Right. Good way to test the track, too. Yeah. Knowing your track is good enough to have auto-driving trains. Yeah. I feel like we're promoting the future here, though, where uh, one day trains are going to be driven by robots. Well, I mean, they pretty much already are. I guess that's fair. All, like, the subways and high-speed stuff. It's like, yeah, they have conductors, but at the end of the day, like, the conductor can't go forward if there's, you know no clearance from the signals and it's all electronic and automated it's not like the signal he's actually looking at it right oh can i get this last pull in please maybe how you doing yes. uh putting on the last log while receiving betsy two perfect betsy, betsy two coming in yeah kill the regulator buy a bunch of brake 
and let her go. Yeah, your turnaround time is definitely longer than mine. Yeah, well, the loading. I mean, if we had one less car, it might be quicker. Yeah, one less car or one extra person. Yeah, one extra person would help a lot because I could have been yeah. sending this on its way already. Yeah, someone's sending and receiving trains while the other person just literally clicks cranes. Right. All right. Full load on the way. Perfect. So now the last car, Betsy 2, the one that just arrived, uh, you just need four logs and then you can come with it. Cool. And you might as well chase Betsy down the track because it, it won't really matter. Well, if I can catch up, it's at 100. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think you're going to catch it, but like, you know. Right. Follow it down the track anyway. Dude, this is actually possibly the dumbest idea we've ever done. But <laughs> it's, it's amazing. amazing at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. Nice. Betsy. Five cars, perfect. Alright, I'm on my way. With the last four, excellent. Yep. I guess we could have just overfilled it. It wouldn't have mattered because it will. It just won't give us money for the other ones. You know, like you could have filled up six just in case my math is wrong, but I think it's right. Um, please let me. We've done this time. Oh, that was close. All right, I'm, I'm along for the last ride. Watch it derails in the last one. Can you imagine? Yeah, I know, right? Because it's empty going down instead of full. It doesn't have the weight to keep it on the track, maybe. Yeah. Nice. All right. Unloaded that. 96 out of 100 logs. Perfect. We are missing only four. It's going to bring Betsy around to the other side. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. This is possibly... The switch is good for you. I haven't, like, so you should be able to come in roll right in. Right. It's automated. I'm going to yeah, see cool. what your end looked like. Oh, well, I'm not ready to receive right now. I'm, I'm pulling Betsy around. Oh, well, I'm, I'm doing I'm, it. I'm driving it so that it doesn't overshoot. I'm coming in hot. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I don't see you yet. Here I come, across the bridge. Okay, well, you might have slammed the brake there a little bit, champ. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't see you yet still. Are you going to be there? No. <laughs> no, not yet. Nope. Where? All right. oh, hold on. Hold on. Where are you? I'm here. I'm at the switch. Oh, I, you got, I got time. I got time. You're nowhere close. What do you mean nowhere close? It's pulling in yeah, right you now. Were just, you were just about to get here, but look at this. Just boom. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, God. I missed the thing. So, Break 100%. Yep. All right. So look this is that. close to what you did because you don't only really have yeah, one train I would, time. I had to. See, look. This one stops on the dime. Holy cow. Well, it's empty. Yeah, it's empty. But when it was full, I had to start them breaking at the top of the bridge, like the very top. Otherwise, it just wasn't wasn't going to do it. Really? Wow. Yeah, it was just too much. But look at that. This should be the final load. We're just going to wait till they get on the ramp so we don't screw it up. Perfect. What if you... What if you could have no gradient and, like, you had the cranes constantly offloading at the logging camp and you just sent the cars, or you sent the trains going really slow? And you they had, just, like, 300 just, car long then you, train? Then you just ran it all day and just let the train go round and round. I mean, <laughs> theoretically, you could, like, if you made the train enough cars to go from point A to point B with, like, three or four porters on it and the porters are all just, like, pushing it slowly. Mm -hmm. uh, you maybe. need an automated unload unloader too like you need like a macro that yeah. would keep standing you here need, you still need two people and you got to have somebody who can like go into all the engines and check their water levels and stuff no i was thinking about how to automate it like no people like you know oh. leave, leave a person or a, you know a thing here macro with a enter button <laughs> i mean and, it would be cool the devs did talk about upgrading industries maybe at some point you can automate an industry to auto unload rather than have to you know do it for yourself but yeah i guess you could just have someone mashing enter 
over and over again while you need too many here. you need like three computers one to automatically somehow feed the train fuel you need three computers that can run railroads like do you do you you know what i mean like that yeah that's and you would need water computers. towers always spitting water with the thing always it's open just always on <laughs> yeah. the whole track lined with water towers yeah <laughs> and you just keep sending it and just let it go by itself Oh, this is perfect. This was a good yeah. run, though. Thirty-three hundred dollars now, which is good. Back up to getting some money. Uh, not enough to do anything meaningful. I want to buy more iron cars. I have more iron. I might have to just do some iron runs just for fun. But yeah, I want to buy more iron cars because I've got like a bunch of iron at the iron mine. How many do you have now? I have four. And you need? But they're like six a piece, aren't they? You want like six more, right? I want six more. I want to get ten. They're eight hundred fifty wow. a piece, bro. Man, that's like wow. that's like. Wait, how much is that? That's uh. Sixteen something. Well, six seventeen hundred. Eight hundred is what? Four hundred and eight, forty-eight hundred bucks. Seventeen hundred for two. Seventeen hundred for two. So it's like thirty-four hundred gets me four. Oh god, yeah, it's like five, six grand, man. That's brutal. Wow. That's not. That's a five fifty one hundred dollars. We did. Yep. Did we do good math there? I think we did. I right? don't know. Something like that. I hope so. Maybe I'll just do another run to the iron mine off camera just for fun to actually unload some of these wood products and stuff. You know, good yeah. old. Make some money. Make some money. But uh, yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, other things you want to see in railroads online. This this was pretty. This was pretty exciting. This, yeah, this was actually epic. really fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was awesome. You're gonna get stuck there, and then oh, you I'm can't... never gonna get you. You get stuck on these, dude. You can get stuck in between them. I got stuck in between two logs once, and then I had to reload my game because I couldn't get out. Oh my gosh! Well, that is good to know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So if you get stuck, I mean, I guess you could just hit respawn. I didn't really think of that. That's There's true. there is a respawn. Someone told me but... G helps too. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, but yeah. Let us know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time. See ya. Bye. Bye.